the samurai incident with unlimited halo is back and this time it's really great halo infinite's contentious fracture Tenrai event returns today with a makeover that should make everyone happy. Probably, maybe, you can never tell with these things. Players who don't want to trudge through big team battle BTB themed challenges to open fracture themed ones will be delighted, at least. In November, shortly after surprise releasing the multiplayer mode for Halo Infinite, developer 343 Industries kicked off the fracture, Tenrai event. It featured a peripheral, free, 30 rank battle pass, and for every event themed weekly challenge you completed, you'd move up one rank in the pack. Completed challenges still granted toward the standard, not free battle pack. Prizes included a samurai-themed set of armor, plus related accessories. Players criticized the rollout, however, saying the cosmetic rewards were too infrequent and that some of the coolest-looking options, like a katana kit, were only available by purchasing them with IRL money. Plus, even though Fracture, Tenrai is planned to run six times over the course of Halo Infinite's first season. Slated to end May 2022, you could only rank up 7 levels. Read more, Halo Infinite devs respond to Samurai Armor event backlash. Last month, 343's Jerry Hook addressed the feedback, saying that Fracture, Tenrai would be more generous with how rewards were doled out during the second round. Turns out, yup, Hook wasn't wrong. Fundamentally, Fracture, Tenrai functions the same way it did in November. Through January 11th, some of your weekly challenges will be marked with a bright orange banner. Every time you complete one of those, you move up a rank in the events pack. During this run of the event, challenges appear to be affiliated with the now permanent Fiesta playlist. Putting to bed the idea that 343 would use Fracture, Tenrai as a test run for potential new game types. But there are some significant changes. Rather than 7 challenges, you'll have 10 as part of your weekly allotment. Better yet, they alternate with non-event challenges so you'll always have at least one Tenrai-themed goal to work toward in your active rotation. Under this revised framework, you could complete the Fracture, Tenrai Pass in just three of its five recurrences. The rewards, too, are far improved. The frequency of single-use items, like boosts, is seriously cut back, to the point where everything from level 9 on is a cosmetic option. Beyond a bunch of nameplates and weapon skins, here are some of the standouts. Levels 10 and 11 feature the Gatekeeper Shoulder Pad. These were previously available at levels 10 and 15. Level 12 unlocks the Dragon Bark Knee Pad. Levels 13 and 18 feature armor colorings, one of which isn't gray. Level 15 grants you the Kabuto Helmet, new to the battle pack. You may recognize it from the event's promotional art. Level 21 gives a dark blue visor for the Yorai kit. Level 29 unlocks the Stag Helm Crest helmet attachment. And to top it all off, this week's ultimate prize, awarded for completing all of your weekly tasks, plus a final capstone challenge, is a sumptuous dark reddish visor for the Yorai armor. One thing that's nowhere to be seen new though, that katana kit.